Hi, family. I want to share a, a quick word with you about letting go. And before we start, I just want to say thank you to all of um, our Heart Fam subscribers. Thank you so much um, for joining and being a part of the Matters of the Heart family. I really do appreciate um, your time and your decision to join our family and to listen um, to, you know, things that the Lord shares with me to share with you. So I want to say, family, welcome back to another chat. And if you are new to our family, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that you can obtain information that will cause you to next level in your relationship with Christ. Also, if you're new and you find that, you know, there's something that you hear um, that really, that strikes a chord or that resonates with you, or maybe there's something um, said that may possibly be beneficial to someone else, go ahead and like and share this chat. So, you know, let's hop on into uh, letting go. So we're, we always have a foundation scripture, right? There's no chat that we have that does not have the foundation of the, the instructions that God gives us as far as how we are supposed to live, how we're supposed to walk this life out. So letting go. And what God showed me was Ecclesiastes 3.1. There is a time and season for everything under the heavens. So letting go. Sometimes, you know, we can hold on to things we can hold on to mindsets. We can hold on to relationships. Um, and it's just not the season. It's just not the time. Maybe it no longer serves purpose in your life. But it's something about letting go that, you know, it can be a challenge. And letting go is hard. Um, but, you know, the thing is, when you know that whatever it is really no longer has uh, adds value to your life, that's when it's time to evaluate and say, you know what, where do I place this? Am I still gonna hold on to it or am I just gonna move this somewhere else? Am I just, and, and when I say, when I let it go, it may not be to the point of you're completely just um, just dropping it but maybe in this season, you have to put it at another level because right now where you are, maybe it's not serving purpose in your life. So, and that also goes back to creating the boundaries that we talk about. You have to create boundaries. So back to letting things go. And this is what God showed me even in my own life. And I want to share this with you. So if, you know, if you've been... Um, if, if you've been tagging along on the chats and participating in the chats, listening to them, you will know that back in 2021, September, 2021, um, I moved to Texas and um, my original home state was Virginia. So 2021 moved to Texas. Now, you know, most, a, a lot of people you think, okay, that's, you know, September 2023 will be two years, two full years. So this coming September will be two years. Well, you know, the whole time, you know, we moved to Texas and I'm driving my car still with my Virginia tags. Well, one, they hadn't expired. So I just, I'm like, you know what? I'm getting my money's worth. And the second thing was the fact that it was something about the Virginia tags that I was attached to. I had an attachment and you think about it. I'm like, these are just license plates, but I had an attachment to these license plates. I did not want to let them go. So I rode around as long as I could with these Virginia tags on because I just did not want to let them go. I was just comfortable. That's, that's what I was used to. So it just, you know, I wasn't ready to change. And, you know, it got to a point where I looked and I'm like, okay, you have got to change these plates. It, it, it's at that point, it was going, it was over a year and I knew it, it was like a year and maybe three months or maybe over that. 
and I knew it was time to change. And sometimes, and this is what the Holy Spirit showed me, that sometimes we in life can just get so comfortable with something that we just, it becomes a part of us. And, you know, you just, you don't think about letting go because it is a comfort thing. It's a comfort zone. So eventually I had to get rid of the tags. It, there was nothing else I could do. I couldn't hold on to them because I was no longer living in Virginia. And at this point, I reside in Texas. So as I went to get the Texas plates, and this is when I say even it's hard to even go through the process of change, but change is necessary. So as I'm going to, you know, the county administration office and I'm, you know, taking the tags off and, you know, it, it, it was somewhat, um, it was a bittersweet because um, I was used to Virginia. Those tags felt like they were part of me. That was a connection. And what God showed me was Ecclesiastes 3. There is a time and season for everything under the heavens. My time in Virginia had expired. It had expired. And the new season that I am in is in Texas. So yes, there was a connection, but it was important for me to make a change in order to be properly aligned with where I am currently in my life. I couldn't ride around with Virginia tags any longer because that's not where I was. And sometimes in life, we will want to hold on to things and not let go. But God has moved us to another place in life but we're still trying to hold on to what was. When God has already moved you, he's just waiting for you to make that change and to catch up. But in order to make that change, you have to let go. And I will tell you, in my experience, just with those tags, and you might say, that's so small. And it is very, it, it, it is a, a small situation. But even in small things, you have to evaluate and say, okay, you know, what do I need to let go? What is it that is no longer serving purpose? In that case, those Virginia tags were no longer serving purpose. So we have to ask ourselves, what is it that's in our lives that are no longer serving purpose to where God has currently placed me, to my current situation? And if it's not serving purpose, it's time to let it go so that you can align with where God has you placed. There is a time and season for everything under the heaven. And also um, in Isaiah, it tells us about, you know, letting go of the former things um, as, as God is doing a new thing. So as he does his new thing, we have to let go of the old. When he says, behold, I'm doing a new thing. If he's doing something new, we don't want to be bringing the old with us as we're walking into the new thing. You want to be able to walk into that new thing that he has for you. You want to be able to get rid of all of the old, the expired stuff that no longer serves purpose in your life. So family, I encourage you, let go of anything that is not currently adding or serving purpose to your life. Whether it's relationships, whether it's a mindset, whether it's a particular thing, whether it's an individual, whatever it is. If now in 2023, we're almost what three months in, three full months in. If now there is something in your life that is not serving purpose, it is time to let it go because God wants to do a new thing in your life, but he can't do a new thing if you're not willing to let go of the old. And the thing is, we'll find 
And this is what I found, even with the, the situation with the license plates. Once I let go, and once I put those Texas plates on my car, I felt such a relief. I felt like, okay, I'm in order. And technically I was because I was, I was not driving around with, you know, tags that, you know, were from a different state and that, you know, <laughs> I, I went over a, probably, it wasn't even a whole month, but I did go over before I changed my tags. That's how much of an attachment I had to, to these tags. But when I finally did it and I put those tags on, it felt such, it felt like such a, um, it felt like something had been lifted. And I knew even in that instance, when that happened, now I remember my kids running out saying, oh, we're, it's official. We're in Texas. It's official. And as they were saying that, and they were so excited, it, you know, I looked and I'm like, okay, God, just in something small like that, it is important to be able to make a change. It's important not to be attached to things and hold on to things when they no longer serve purpose in your life because it delays you from where you're supposed to be and from the new thing that God has for your life. So heart fam, evaluate your life and just seek out those things in your life that currently no longer serve purpose. And if you find that there are things that don't serve purpose as hard as it is, let it go. Because once you do, you will have so much relief. And then that enables God to come in and do that new thing in your life. So fam, I love you all. And until next chat, be blessed. Bye.